August 8th, 2022, and this is your Movers and Mints Daily. Now, it's been a couple days, and I sincerely apologize for that. Had a good reason. I was at the Triathlon National Championships in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and yours truly got 18th place in the country, snagging that last spot for Team USA. So, I brought my laptop, and I went to make it, and my laptop was not capable of handling the project at hand. So that's why I couldn't do it. But I just got back literally like an hour ago. First thing I'm doing is making this video for you. So before we dive into it, always wanna remind you, I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research. Before investing in any projects, never be willing to put up more money than you can afford to lose. And number two, subscribe to my channel. Like my videos, comment, give me suggestions, give me any feedback. I wanna hear what you have to say. I make these on a daily basis for you so you know what's going on in the world of Solana NFTs, all right? So having said all of that, let's dive into the top five projects in the past 24 hours, starting with number five. Number five today is going to be the Rakudos. Now, it is beyond me as to why this project hasn't taken off yet. Um, Maybe it's because it's too legitimate. It's not a lot of frills. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm telling you, this one I get excited about. Um, The floor price is five and a half, so it's really, you know, affordable if you wanted to hop into it. And it's 10,000 raccoons empowering Web3 builders brought to you by Shakudo. So it's a platform that unites all the data tools and services you'll ever need. The reason I'm so high on it is their team is actually coming from AWS, Amazon Web Services, and they're trying to deliver that same technology to Web3, bring it to the decentralized space. So I think this has incredible potential. Obviously, many people do as well because this is trading so high in volume. 1.1 thousand in the past 24 hours, just about what they did yesterday. Um, 68.5 thousand all time. So take a look at these guys. It's a really interesting project, and I think there's a ton of upside with these guys. Having said all that though, let's move on to number four, and that's gonna be Vandals. These guys, since they've minted, have also been hanging around these top tier uh, volume traded on a daily basis. 7.95 is the floor right now on these guys. 1.2 thousand in the past 24 hours. It is a decrease of about 25% day over day. Uh, It's a collection of 10,000 bandits, outcasts, and misfits uh, of the metaverse, epicenter of Web3 innovation, fostering top tier utilities and art. So take a look at this if this interests you. These guys seem to be hanging around for the time being, and uh, there's a lot of excitement about them in the market. So let's move on to number three, and this is gonna be a familiar face. It's those OK Bears. Now with the OK Bears, what I find really interesting is look at that floor price sub 60 haven't really seen this this is kind of uncharted waters for these guys um they're just scratching the surface of two million solana all-time volume insanity um 1.7 thousand in uh solana in the past 24 hours they are the only project in the top five that has seen an increase in volume in the past 24 hours compared to the previous day. Um, They're at about a 61% increase day over day, these guys. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. I think it's because the floor price is dipping with these guys. So a lot of people are aping in. They're getting in at that lower price because, you know, common sense or, you know, history of this project to tell you it's going to go back up. So that's why I think you're seeing the high total, the high volume on this, but it's crazy that it's sub 60 right now. So really follow this story the rest of the week here and see where this takes us. Interesting. On to number two on the day. And there's gonna be a new project called Aliens Trippin' High. Now they have traded 1.9 thousand in the past 24 hours. The artwork is pretty silly and you can see, I think uh, these guys um, haven't been revealed yet. I, if I'm not mistaken, um, the ones that are not moving, that is what you actually get. Um, so in the past 24 hours, like I said, they've done 1.9 thousand. That is a decrease of 53% in the past 24 hours. Um, so it's not, you know, not something where it's like crazy, you know, concerning, but we see this with brand new projects. They start hot and then they start to taper off as the day goes on. So, or I'm sorry, as the week goes on or as time moves forward. So we'll keep an eye on them, but they want to expand as a global brand by making it easy to participate, (coughs) excuse me, in Web3 
projects through amazing experiences, beautiful branding, constant innovation, and an amazing community. Chill out until the next ATH. So we'll take a look at that, and then let's move on to number one on the day, and it's no surprise, it is going to be those D-Gods. Um, they obviously are the blue chip, premier project in all of Solana NFTs, 317.4 price, just wild stuff. 2.4 thousand in the past 24 hours. It's a decrease of about 25%, but because the floor price is so high with these guys, it doesn't really matter. They don't even have to do a ton of volume in terms of number of NFTs traded because the floor price is so high. Um, so really not much to say about these guys, except they're the standard, they're the gold standard. I did see some merch that they recently released and said something to the effect of, I own a basketball team. But if you have a D-God, they purchased the team in the big three league and you're a part owner of that. So pretty cool stuff, great community. And you know, every project should really aspire to be like these guys. So that's gonna wrap it up for the top five projects in the past 24 hours in terms of trade volume. Now let's look ahead to a popular upcoming mint. If you're new to the show, what I do is I head over to the upcoming drops, the drop calendar in Magic Eden. I filter by the number of upvotes you're required to log in in order to cast an upvote in the system so you're not able to bot or scam, you know, the switch uh, kind of, you know, rig the numbers. So that's why I like to do it this way. I've done all these, so we're going to do um, Dragonborn. This is the one we're going to be doing today. So 1,859 upvotes, solid number. And with a mint date of, it looks like September 28th, at least that they have in the system here in Magic Eden, still ways off I'm about a month and a half that's a lot of a lot of upvotes so caught my attention i figured we'd talk about it collection of 3333 a part of the i'm gonna mispronounce this i apologize um the ihi cattle universe uh bringing staking mutations merch casino games solana tools dao involvement join our discord to find out more information and meet our lovely community so that's the uh, magic eden page head over to their twitter um, it seems like just a solid, tight-knit community. Nothing crazy, no over-promises. It looks like they're just building on existing projects that they've had. Um, so they're out of Australia, and they have 9,964 followers. Like I said, not a crazy, you know, cult following. Um, and then if you look at what could Grandmaster Carlos Carrasco be looking at, this is the page on their website you see here just a second too, but I think it's pretty cool looking artwork. Looks like some kind of Lord of the Rings, Warcraft kind of stuff going on here. That's the vibes I'm getting. Uh, and here we go. Here's the website. That's the artwork I was just talking about. You can take a look for yourself. Click through. It's got all the questions, all the answers that you have probably questions for. So go ahead and take a look at that on the website. And then finally, in their Discord, uh, we are taking a look at the uh, Cattle Universe. And um, it's very straightforward. It's intuitive. It's very informative. It's active as well. It's still time to get on that whitelist, looks like. Mint date is TBA, so that might just be a placeholder in Magic Eden right now. Um, but it's going to be just about one soul uh, mint price. So obviously, very realistic. And, um, you know, you're not going to break the bank with going with these guys. So take a look at this project if you're interested. I would say they've run projects before and they're adding to the universe. So maybe that's a good sign that they've had success and continue to want to ride that success with newer projects. So that's going to wrap it up, though, for Movers and Mints Daily. So thanks for watching. As always, it's greatly appreciated. Um, I do these on a daily basis. I screwed up the past couple days because I had my big race, but I'm going on vacation tomorrow and bring in my good laptop, and you can guarantee that they will be coming at you. So don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, as always. My name is Goldie. I'm back in Frisco, Texas for the time being. It's August 8th and we're still asking, when's Solana summer? See you tomorrow.